Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Forage and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where, well, I have quite a lot to do in this episode. I need to fix the fence in the church first. The, uh, Yurik. Yur Yurik? Hmm. Anyway, he, Yurik, he, uh, he came to the church a little while ago, and he was fairly annoyed that I hadn't actually managed to um, deal with the sort of not very nice undead that well not undead the dead the not very nice dead who uh, who was still in the yard because he he thought well he's not thinking he's just decided that uh, some of them are really unpleasant and as such, he wanted rid of them. He was really annoyed. And, uh, and so he shot the entire place up with lightning, which wasn't very handy at all. And uh, destroyed, or damaged at least, a good number of the pristine graves that I'd made. So now I realise that Yorick is going to get annoyed at any amount of... Um, unpleasantness which means I have to be super careful with all of these I well this looks much better now yes fixing that fence definitely worth it now I got I managed to get 50 silver and being the smart person that I am I took my 50 silver to the royal box thing and I managed to buy myself the stamp Instead of actually buying what I wanted, which was the um, the trading license. So now I have the stamp instead of the trading license, which means I need to go to town and talk to the barkeeper, who will hopefully use said stamp to mark all of my meat from here on and allow me to actually sell my meat in town that being the meat of all of the dead people of course so nice <laughs> where are we here we go hi hi sir stop standing there you could at least clean the pool hang on is there anything over here hmm don't know maybe I'll find that out later in the meanwhile this guy. I have the stamp. Good! Then this meat just needs a little preparation on your kitchen table. Awesome, I got a story. Uh, wrap it in paper, put a stamp on it, and I'll gladly buy it. Lovely. How much will you buy it for? At the moment, I'm going to sell you a load of these. Yes. 33. We're not that far off getting the... Um, the other thing. What was the other thing? Oh yeah, the trading license for the trader guy. Who's not there today. Hmm. Oh well. I shall have to approach him on another day. Now, it's coming up to the blue day. The blue day. It is nice that they've actually coloured it blue to fit in with the fact that actually that's the day that you get all of your blue points for. But, I've already got my blue points. I've got lots of them, and as such, I can start buying things. So let's do that. First we need, I think, let's see. I'll have a look and see what, what is most appropriate. Well, we can't do the, um, the quest for the flyers without being able to print flyers. So I guess we need to print flyers. <laughs> Next. I might as well get the circular saw. Because it costs 200, and I'm pretty sure that that means it's worthwhile. And this one, assembly stand, again, 200, worthwhile. This one's worth 100. Let's do the stone carving. Ooh, that costs 50 in the blue. Wow, that's expensive. Okay. Tricks of the trade. Hmm. Fine woodwork, carved wood. Interesting. Marble quarrying. Yes. Yes. This I should have. For then I can make marble stuff. The art of stone. A polished brick of marble. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. 
Let's go to race through all of our uh, allotted stuff. Let's see if there's anything else first. I don't want to uh, rush into something that's actually going to not be as good as something else. Let's have these, the carved gravestones, because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to need those. Uh, funeral urns. Hmm. And this one. Oh, I haven't got enough for them both. Ah. Well, I'm going to go for grave monuments because grave monuments. Is there anything I can get? I can get the business of faith. Hmm. It doesn't cost much at all, so yes. Got it. <laughs> That's going to give us lots, I think. I shall have to check various things to see what... Oh, hello. We have another corpse to deal with. It took me quite a long time to get all of those those blue points, but I got most of them from um, making glass in the furnace and then turning those glass pots into the finer glass pots, the advanced glass pots. And that was that was how I did it. That's how we got the uh, the blue points. And now we're down to six, which is virtually none. Not enough for anything. I shall have to go and grab some more glass. I want to um, do some fishing because I believe that fishing might be a good earner. I could be wrong, but uh, there's a, there's a small chance. I've been putting all sorts of nastiness into this container over here. Oh, I have the story to deal with. I still don't know what you do with stories. Now we're on 169. That's really good. That 200 is in within sight, and we can do lots more with the uh, with the with the graves. We have to look up those. Ah, hello, glass. Ah, uh, it's still going. <laughs> we shall have more of these advanced things in no time. In the meanwhile, I have. Advanced stone cutting to look into. Wow. Okay, polished brick of stone. Interesting, but what would you want polished brick of stone for? Okay, a polished brick of stone can also be made from a, a chisel and a, and, a, and a bit of stone. A piece of marble. So you can make those with the wedges again. Interesting. Marble repair kit. But it's not given us any... Marble gravestones yet. So I've obviously not not leveled that. Oh po. Okay. Maybe I have to build a better um stone cutting thing. Let's have a look. Stone cutting thing, I got a, a circular saw. Hmm. I nearly have the parts for that. That's cool. And a workbench level two. I should definitely make that as well. Ooh, there's there's things. Aha, yes, the stone cutting two. So I should make the stone cutting two. Let's see if we can get any of these things. I might have the iron. I do. That was the wrong thing, wasn't it? I needed this. I needed the nails, didn't I? <laughs> Fairly typical. Wrong thing first. Just in case. Okay, let's see if we can actually do this now. Or have I have I messed it up? Nope, we can make the circular saw. Excellent. Now, where are we making it? Where seems sensible for a circular saw? Hmm. Can I move that round? <laughs> no. Okay, it's always going to be this way. So, I might as well stick it there. Now, we also need to make a... Where is it? Carpenter's Workbench 2. I need more of those advanced ones. So I need lots more iron. And I need... What else? This one should be relatively easy to make. Yeah, I need more iron and I need more of those... Uh, fl flitch? Flitch. Mm. Iron for the things and flitch. Got it. The iron is very easy to deal with. I'll just need to go back to the mines. Or the quarry. As they call it. It's mine, in my opinion. <laughs> and then deal with that. Let's see. Always good to empty your inventory as much as you can, because otherwise... Full inventory, and it's a pain in the neck. 
And I'm always going around with a full inventory. Which is always a pain in the neck. Right, let's go inside and deal with the meat. Oh, we can't deal with the meat because we haven't got any paper. Hmm. Have I got any paper? Here, yeah, paper. Ah, we have one sheet of clean paper. Well, at least we can find out how much you get for them. So let's go here. And yes, one sheet of clean paper gives you... What? That. A package of meat. A package of meat which I feel like I should be studying first. Oh no, no, it doesn't give you anything studied at all. Alright, well, we've got like 30 of this stuff, so I need to make loads and loads of paper. Unfortunately, it's daytime now, so I can't really do anything about that. But I can go and have a rest. Maybe having a rest will uh, get us closer to the right time of day. You watch, Donkey will deliver something. Okay, so we're nearly at the right time of day. Because to get paper, I need bats. So that I can get their bat wings and turn them into the paper. But uh, they're either here or over there back ne next to the house. So I need to wait for night time, which isn't going to be long. And then clobber some bats. In the meanwhile, I can nick some berries. I could grab some butterflies, I guess. But berries, quite useful because berries make the cake or help make the cake. And cake is definitely one of those things that I've been using a heck of a lot because it's really useful. Uh oh. Right at the wrong time, donkey. I want those bat wings. Ah, I'm not paying him. He can go without his carrots. But that way I can get some stuff done without being harassed by donkey. Another corpse. Ah. Right, so let's see if this one's going to be one that I'm going to burn on the pyre or... Oh no, I might, I might, I might save this one from my yard. Possibly. It's very useful to be able to burn them on the pyre because then you can just take everything from them. So you can take the, the skin and you can take the, uh, the, the meat. And then you can sell the meat. It's very good. Although I, 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 I'm so hoping that the meat's going to cost lots when you, when you sell it. To the other people, of course. Need money. Right, let's see if we can get these bats. If we're lucky. They might still be there. It's like this side of the night that it needs to be. Because at the other side of the night, they're not there again. They go. Come on, bats, don't be gone. Be there. Yes. Aha, Squidge. Give me your wings. Give me your wings. Stop darting around. Right, I'll leave those wings there because I need to get to the other bit quickly so that I can get some more of them. If I'm lucky. Ah, oh, come on, I can make it. Get there quick. Get there quick. I really need some way of going faster. Hi. Hello, Bat. Sorry I was a little bit late. You're all dead, though, now. That's great. Good. <laughs> no protected species in this area. So, now I need to get myself a little bit more energy without using cake, because I've been saving that for other occasions. And I need space. So I'm going to set this running and making conical flasks, 24 of them. And that should... Oh, wait. Not 24 of them. A little bit less. Why has it got no fire in it. I've just literally fired it up. Right. Let's try again. Yes. Do that. Great. So that'll give me 24 blue experience. Which is amazing. Oh, I need those bat wings. I hope they don't disappear. I need to make... I need to do a ceremony. And I need to grab those bat wings. But first of all, I should do the ceremony because it's it's... It's kind of important not to miss that. Oh, I want those. So many things all happening at the same time. Hello there. It's going to be a good ceremony today, I hope. Lots of cash. Maybe. 
<laughs> I still need to grab another one of these. I have no idea how to grab those. I know that you can make some, but I don't know. I'm not really all that good at making them by the looks of it. Not currently, anyway. Yes, our church is great. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I mean, thank you for your blessings. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I like that this is successful all the time. I didn't like it when there was a 50% chance of failure. Yes, donations. Gratefully received. Thank you. You're getting me closer to that trading license. A lot closer to the trading license if they're giving me 35. How many? How many? Five. Five silver. Ooh, how close are we? 38. Just, just off. Ooh. <laughs> Let's collect those bat wings before they disappear. I don't, I don't know if things disappear or not. I just, I, I just assume that after a certain amount of time, you things will disappear. Because most usually they do. I might have 14 now. Because maybe there is, a, there's a slim chance that I do. In which case, I can make some more paper than I already have. Here we go. Oh no, it's only seven. Rats. Okay, never mind. We can still make paper, which is the important thing. I want to sell that meat, and I want to sell that meat fast. Ooh, hello. I can pick up all of the experience, but not the uh, actual things. I will have to dump more stuff. Yes, we're one bat wing short of being able to make two sets. Ah, uh, most unfortunate. But I still have so many stories here that I don't know what to do with them. But then I didn't know what to do with them to begin with. Is there anything else in here? I'm having a lot of difficulty making that lens. I might have to actually look that up because I've no idea how to make it. Ooh, printing press. I didn't realise that you made that down here. Okay. Ah, so that's where you build all of those, basically. But I need a chapter for it. A chapter I don't have. I can buy chapters off the uh, the other guy in town. Oh, they're in fives. I thought it was in sevens. Why did I think it was in sevens when it's in fives? Never mind. Fives it is. That's easy. That leaves me with... Yeah, three. Now let's make the clean paper. And with the clean paper, let's wrap up loads of meat. <laughs> wow, we have a lot of this. What, can I make some more? I can? Good grief. I can make lots of paper. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been trying to sell this meat for so long. I can't believe how long it's just been unavailable. And now, all of the meat. Hang on, wait, what? Uh, you have to do them all separately. That's going to take a while. Thanks, game. Why couldn't it have done it at the same time? <laughs> okay. You get plenty of green points for that. Or is it one green point for that? It's one green point for that. Okay, come on. So, how many have we got left? Ten. Ten left. I'll be back. And there we have it. Seventeen stacks of meat. Which means it's time to go to town. I just need to find out how much that this gives me. It better give me lots. Because meat's taken a lot of time to prep. Here we go. Finally time to find out what I get for the meat. Alright. I'm selling you meat. Are you ready? 60 something each. Hmm. Not bad. Not amazing. Definitely not amazing. But it's got me to the 50. Which means we can go and get that trading license. I forget what day the trader arrives on. Let's have a look. The trader arrives, then merchant. Okay. That's... That's tomorrow. Well, just in time. Alright. 
One trading license. Ooh, I've been looking forward to that for a very long time. Just like the meat stamp thing. It was very important. Took me ages. And now I have it. <laughs> 171 on the graveyard now. That's really cool. But I need more. I must make this graveyard the best graveyard ever. Oh, hello. I might have left the pots for a while. Won't be long before I can start making those into the other things. Hmm. It's not going quick enough. Meanwhile, back at the quarry, I need to get myself some more iron. Because we've run out. Which is a bit of a surprise. I think I sold a lot of it earlier on. It was that it was the need for the uh, for the trading license and the other thing that made me just go uh, go and go and sell everything and and, and leave myself destitute. <laughs> right, breaking up some iron that should actually use up plenty of energy, which means we'll be moving forwards in time lots because we'll need to go to bed. Is that it? Yes. Let us move time forwards. Oops. I accidentally moved it forwards about two minutes. <laughs> right, we're on the trader's day now. So that means I need to go to town. Come on. Right. We've got the trading certificate on us. So let's go to town if we can. Yes, the dead horse. That'll do fine. Excellent. And he's there. Awesome. Hello, trader guy. I have the license. Great! Now we're in business. Between my connections and your hard work, we'll be super rich. Well, open our first office in this barn. Seems like a startup. Ooh, the barn. We'll put pallets here and I'll take crates of goods from here every that day. Oh, great. Crates? That's right. We're in a big business now, so we need to pack our products. Hmm. You're a handy fellow, and I know you have a workshop near the graveyard. I'm sure you can pack everything in nice wooden crates. He's going to teach me how to make crates, then. You going to teach me how to make crates? you got to teach me how to make crates. I'll try. Let me see. I think for start, I can sell one crate per week. That's not too much. Yes, it is. Everything's too much. I have nothing. But nobody heard of us. We'll need to invest in marketing and make our first sale. So, our company has two main goals. First, increase our... Uh, whatever that is, level to at least three. That means we'll be able to sell three crates per week. Second, sell our first seven crates. I'll be proud of us if we reach these goals. I'll be proud of us if we reach these goals. How can how we can, how we can improve our? Hmm. We'll use an ancient technique that never fails. Make a bunch of advertising flyers and leave them on a, a office desk. Hmm. In my world, we use celebrities to boost sales. Brilliant idea. You can ask Miss Charm to represent our company. That'll definitely work. I could ask. Ad uh, I could also advertise our company during my church ceremony. That's a great idea. Now I know for sure that I've chosen a right person to be my partner. Mm, no more questions. Yes. I haven't got anything to actually do those, so yeah. At least I don't think I have. What can I trade now? Can I trade nothing more? Eh. Okay, what's this? Build what? Ooh, pallets and marketing campaign. Ah! Now they're flyers. Which look exactly the same. Yes, they look exactly the same as the ones that the uh, the other guy wanted. Uh, there's nothing in the trade report. Hang on, wait a minute. Am I losing money? No. I'm very not be losing money. Okay, that's the, the thingy. So yeah, I have nothing else. That is all. Thank you. And that's all the time I got for this episode. So I shall have to catch you in the next one where we'll do something about the flyers, I think. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you next time. Bye for now.